this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, I'm gonna make a lot of people pissed off with this video. So, Apple put out a statement today saying that the Face ID did not fail. And I'm here to tell you, yes it did. It failed. Just not the time that everyone's talking about. So, let's go over what happened. Apple's statement is that, oh, a lot of people were trying out this iPhone and that, because of that, what happened was that his face automatically locked up. But here's the thing, that's not the failure. The failure happened before then. So right here, he lifts up the phone and tries to look at it here. That's the failure, not the second time, although that's a failure as well. But if we go back right here, you can already see that the phone is attempting to read his face because it says at the bottom of that phone swipe to unlock meaning it's currently trying to scan because that's what it's saying when it's trying to read your face so how do i know this well because apple clearly stated to multiple youtubers that were there including mkbhd and other high profile youtubers that as soon as you lift the phone up it starts to read your face and starts to look out for it to unlock it but it didn't unlock. So this was the actual failure that a lot of people are pointing out to, not this one, which is what people are actually pointing out to, but shouldn't because this is the second failure. And because it's failed more than once, that's why that logo comes up. Because guess what? It failed the first time, it didn't come up. But when you fail it a second time, that's when Apple knows, hey, you're trying to do something. So that's when it brings up the password thing. So that's why it's saying the second time to do that. Not the fact that, oh, well, you know, it would have done that if he had picked it up the first time. No, 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 He failed the first time already. The second time it happened again, and that's why it's asking for his password there that it is required. Because yes, if it notices that you're doing something wrong or you have someone else's phone, it's like, no, 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 we need the password. So that's the actual failure. Now, here's the thing. Apple could have said the more logical excuse, which is just, well, that phone wasn't actually set for Craig's face. The other one was, because the other one worked right away. But this one wasn't. And if that would have been the case, that that one wasn't set up for Craig's face, they would have just said that. But no, they said that, well, that one was for him, but it just had a lot of people using it, and that's why it didn't work. No, it didn't work the first time, and then when it didn't work the second time, that came up. And we saw that. If you look at a lot of YouTube videos, actually, it asks you for the same exact screen if it messes up. Not only if you turn it on and turn it off. So that's the big thing here, and that's where I think that Apple is trying to say face and face ID, but they have to acknowledge that this was wrong. It did mess up. And you could even tell that he knew something was wrong because of the fact that after this part, he swipes the sweat away before finishing to do the second one. And my guess is, although for all Apple's claims to, oh, you can wear glasses, you can wear a hat, you can have a beard grow out, you can have all this kind of stuff, sweat or reflection is going to cause more issues. We'll have to wait and see. But I was just really taken back by Apple saying that, oh no, no, it didn't fail. That's, it's not true, it didn't fail. Yeah, it did. The first one is the failure. Again, right here, he lifts up the phone and tries to do face unlock and it doesn't work. That's the failure, not the one after. All right, guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, try to keep the cursing to a minimal or, you know, just delete the con just delete the content. But yeah, overall, I really am curious to see how many of you guys agree with this? How many of you guys are still going to stick up for Apple? How many of you guys are going to say, oh, that was actually true. I didn't think about that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, this comment section is going to be crazy. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. 
And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.